and the winner of the 2011 Northern Territory Marie Claire Young Business Woman's Award is Carly Burma. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. Uh, it's just, it's wonderful to be here, just to participate in the awards. And, uh, and as my team know, who are sitting with me today uh, at the back, uh, it's just, it's been such a challenge to actually be here today uh, and to be able to participate in the whole journey. And I'll explain a little bit of that as I go. Uh, what an opportunity. And I'm, I'm quite overwhelmed, actually, uh, to be in the same category uh, with Jody and Natasha and the amazing businesses that they run and the great work that they do in the Territory. And, uh, and yeah, to be... Uh, just a naval officer who drives a ship and does her job um, <laughs> is a, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm honoured to be here and, um, and it's not something that we, that we take the time to pause and reflect and, and realise our achievements um, too often and uh, of course our work is quite busy and for those who live in the Territory know uh, we're out there uh, relentlessly each week protecting our borders, uh, especially in the patrol boat community. And so it's been a challenge to have the time to bring the ship in, to, ha to take the time off to, to uh, go through the, the whole process of the awards. And, um, and it's, it's just wonderful to be here today. So first of all, thank you to Telstra uh, and the awards team for, uh, for making this happen and for allowing me to be a part of it, and particularly for uh, facilitating my entry. Uh, I was nominated by my previous commanding officer, Darren Grogan, who was an inspirational man for me. And he's uh, unfortunately couldn't be here today. He's in camera, but uh, I was surprised by the nomination, certainly. And uh, and I was at sea and very busy on patrol at the time, and I didn't think I'd have the chance to uh, to go through the process. And uh, and Darren uh, called me up and said, you know, keep at it, see how you go. And uh, so we finished the application uh, whilst I was on station in the middle of boarding operations. And, um, and of course, our bandwidth on our patrol boats is very limited, and so I wasn't able to get the application in through the internet quickly. So I was sending it in small chunks through, and Corinne Brown from the Telstra team down south did an amazing job uploading all of it for me and kept saying, stick with it, you know, I know you're busy, but just keep going. So, uh, so thank you so much to Corinne for facilitating that. Uh, my, uh, my career is almost 15 years now in the services, and I have so many people to to thank for uh, supporting me uh, and getting me to this position now. And it's certainly, it's not an individual journey. Um, we're away so frequently that it takes the support of family and friends, of peers uh, and of mentors to, to get us to this point. And so uh, my story today is that it's a team effort and, and that's what the Navy's about and that's what I love about my job, working in a team. And uh, so I would like to thank, uh, first of all, Several of my mentors who can't be here today, but Darren Grogan, uh, first and foremost, for nominating me, uh, but also Tim Biles, my previous commanding officer as well, uh, who was the one to call me up five years ago and say, hey, what are you doing? You should be a commanding officer. Let's start this process. And uh, who dragged me through to this position today, uh, which was terrific. Uh, I am delighted and privileged to have with me uh, my engineer at the time when I was the, the second in command of that ship. Uh, Andrew Jockinson, uh, Chief Jockinson up the back, and, uh, and he's in town today. And it's wonderful to have Andrew here, and, and not only Andrew, but he represents his entire family, who are, who are my alternate family, the Jockinsons, uh, Katrina, and their three beautiful children, Tully, Neela, and Flynn, uh, who are my, uh, my loudest and, uh, and, and greatest advocates and are always there to cheer me on, whether I'm bringing the ship in or marching down a parade. So thank you to them. And, uh, of course, my crew, who can't be here today, uh, we're... we're we're incredibly busy preparing to hand the ship over on Monday uh, and so they're down working but they are represented by several of my colleagues today. Uh, but my, my crew, a sail four, um, are responsible for our awesome achievements over the last 22 months and, uh, and it's certainly not an individual effort. Uh, everyone comes together uh, and works hard. We have outstanding training and we have excellent focus and determination and we get out there and do the job and protect each other while we're doing it. So I thank them greatly for their support over the last 22 months. I'd like to thank uh, Commander Jenny Haymans, who's travelled up from Canberra, was a finalist in the ACT Awards as well. Thank you, ma'am, for your attendance today. Uh, she's the Navy Women's Strategic Advisor and has been a great support throughout this process for me. And uh, also, I need to thank uh, my colleague and very close friend, uh, Jane Landon, uh, who helped me through the process and was actually uh, my sounding board while I was, whilst I was going through um, applying for uh, or completing the application for the Telstra Awards. I'm pleased uh, and very proud to have my mum and dad here today who've travelled up from Harvey Bay and also my sister Leah from Canberra. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
whilst uh, they watched me grow in, over the last 15 years, um, it's very uh, timely that they be here at this important uh, occasion. My first command in my naval career, but also the first time that they've been at sea and seen me for, I think, 10 years now. And the last time was when I, I, I uh, was departing in HMS Kalanimbla and heading off to the Gulf War. So thanks, Mum and Dad and Leah for being here. And we're thinking of Matthew, my brother, who can't be here today as well. Again, congratulations to all of the finalists, uh, but especially uh, those in my category. Uh, you're incredibly impressive women. And last night, to be at the workshop and have a chance to listen to your stories uh, was just an inspiration to me. Uh, as I said, we work so hard in defence and it's, uh, it's very rare for us to have the chance to pause, first of all to reflect on our own performance, um, but also to pop our head up and have a look at other industry uh, and the corporate sector around us and to see what people are doing. So, uh, you know, as a woman I'm privileged to be here today and to listen to the stories of so many successful women. Uh, in my field, um, I'm really incredibly lucky to be supported by a service um, and in particular peers and subordinates, um, my crew, my team, who don't look at me as a woman, um, but just treat me as, as the professional officer that I am. And so um, on that note, I'll close and say uh, thank you for this great honour. Uh, it's, it's something that I'm quite overwhelmed about and I'm, I'm so pleased to be able to take that back to the crew this afternoon because I, I know that they'll be uh, keen to hear the results. So thank you again. Um.